Hello everyone, I'm Cody from the YouTube Game, here to help you with your YouTube gaming videos. And today specifically, I want to go over how to make perfect thumbnails from a psychological point of view. And honestly, it's pretty easy. There are four elements you just have to keep in mind and you're good to go. So number one, you want a logo on your thumbnail. So this is your channel branding. You want this on every single one of your thumbnails. Hopefully it stands out a little bit, something like this. This is the one for my I'm Kibitz channel. And this is just so when people just randomly look at a thumbnail, like, oh, that's a neat thumbnail. Who's it by? They don't have to go to the title or the description or anything like that. They just see, oh, there's a little Kibitz branding. That's a Kibitz video. Very straightforward. And also, if you have the exact same thing on all of your thumbnails, Humans like to recognize patterns, and they'll see that pattern. If they're in suggested videos, they see your logo. Hey, that's a video I know I'll like. Or if they're on the homepage and they see the Kibitz logo. Oh, there's a Kibitz video, let's go click it. And honestly, that might just be enough. If you disregard all the rest of the rules, just having your logo on your thumbnail will help significantly. And then the next element your thumbnail should have is big text. Big text is highly recognizable, it's eye-catching, and it kind of can act as a clickbait title, except in a more visual sense. So it's like big text, question mark? Why is that a question? What do you mean? What's the context? You want to find out? You click it. So it's a way to make your videos more clickable. And it can help with branding if you always have it in the same place, same color, same font. So say in every thumbnail you have it right in the corner right here, same font and everything. It helps with your branding. People see your logo, people see the big text there. Alrighty. Two de facto factors are like, hey, this is a good video. I want to go check it out. So after you have your logo and your big text, your thumbnail is starting to kind of build itself here, right? You need something to fill this area, and what you should fill it with is a face. Specifically with big eyes. Look at those gorgeous eyes! And there's a reason behind that, and that's because people are drawn A to faces, but specifically to eyes. People want to know where other people are looking at. So you have your big face with eyes, perfect. It'd be better if my microphone wasn't blocking you out here, you had the full face in view. That'd be perfect, but pretty much good enough. And of course, it's also better if the face is like super HD. Like when it's smaller, it's pretty good, but generally speaking, you want it to be a little bit more high def. But conceptually, this will work fine with us. But with that, you pretty much have your thumbnail. The last thing you want to do is kind of just fill in a background and try to add contrast wherever you can. Alright, so we just make the background all blue. Give the text a bit of contrast by adding like a black border around it, black and white. Perfect. Maybe a little shadow in there as well. You might also want to have the face cut out so you can add some effects to that. By the way, if you need help with different cutting tools, I made a Photoshop tutorial on that as well. You can check that out in the card. That should be appearing right now. Anyway though, you can just go from this point and do any touch-ups you want to do. Get a little creative with it, and you should end up with a good thumbnail. And there you go, you got a pretty good thumbnail there, right? You got the eyes, you got the big text. The logo, contrast, orange, blue, black, and white it looks perfect and hopefully will get you a lot of clicks. But anyway though, that's going to be the video. So hopefully you found this informative, a little entertaining as well. If you did, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. If you have any questions or concerns, just let me know in the comments. We can have a little discussion down there. But anyway, that's going to be all again. So thanks again for watching and good luck with your YouTube channels. Take care and bye bye.